Hello, my name is Faith Butterfield and today I am at the Norton Simon Museum in Pasadena. I just looked at the trees and the bronze statues that look like Greco-Roman heroes. And I'm here to do my museum report on Henry Matisse's artwork based on the exhibit that they're doing until July 17th. And let's go in. And this is where we get our admission. Hello there. I'm sorry. Hey, so what you're going to say is, let me pause this. Let me is that you're not allowed to shoot behind security cameras, walls, exhibits, and other signs that are strictly forbidden. And I had to go do this at the admissions office, and it's strictly forbidden. But what can you shoot? And I can also shoot art exhibits, especially the Matisse Odesque. A desk exhibit, and unfortunately, I cannot take photos with flash. Yes, so, yeah, because what happens when you take photos? It ruins the artwork. The Odesk is a reclining nude or harem concubine that is a popular subject in European art in 1830s to 1930s. An erotic image of a woman in geographically vague orient evoked a life of luxury and indolence far removed from industrial society and 21st century approaches to representing race and gender. Indeed, a picture of an Odesk is nearly a matter of invention rather than cultural documentation. The harem environment was constructed in the artist of Sayre using a model to dress costume and alleged of exotic props, and the artist did not disguise the fact the scene was staged by drawing attention to the studio setting or approaching imagery from by a famous precedence. The exhibition focused on the revival of oriental orientalist imagery at the hands of the French artist Henri Matisse. Matisse claimed that he made Odesclus as an excuse to paint the nude because he had to see in harems Harem's first hands on his trip to Morocco, yet his colorful and daring compositions reveal the imagery of its existing decorative environments that threaten to subject the female subject altogether. The quest that creates a harmonious relationship between the figure and ground was one that Matisse pursued throughout his career, but the Odesque, he found particularly a complex complementing theme which wished to further these ambitions. Modeste Odelesque's con con Questions of the painter's distinctive interpretation of the harem theme with works of the arts in painting, drawing, and photography, ranging in the date from the early 19th to the mid 20th century. The diverse aesthetic approaches on the view reveal that the artist perceived the desk highly adaptable subject, one that offered opportunities to embellish and invigorate the embodying energy of their maker's own creative process. Uh, this is a painting called Nude on a Sofa from 1923 by Henry Matisse, which is about a life model who is, lighting on, who is lying on a big couch, who is naked with a armpit on it, and also in the background it depicts pink and red roses. And uh, outside the window, it depicts the trees and the, and the forest with earthly colors. And, but inside the house, it has Turkish tile colors of blue and white. When do you think this was painted? It was painted in 1923 during the 20th century, which is a post-impressionist post, post, post painting by Henry Matisse, which I'm going to do, which I'm going to select instead of the harem. I'm going to do nude on a sofa. Yes, this is this is Henri Mat this is Henri Matisse. Did you click a picture? No, I'm filming it. So we've got untitled an homage to the Matamel Cabellier de l'Italie, which was which was paint, untitled drawing done in 1936 and dated by 1947, which was done in ink and paper. And it's depicting a woman in an exotic costume, which which is like a hair, which reminds me of a harem, and it also depicts flowers and trees. Now, what would you call that? A rough draft or what? This is a rough. This is a rough sketch, but this is a rough sketch like I do in thumbnails in my comic books and my animation. All right, good. Okay. Now I just did my Henry Matisse exhibit for a quick short period of time. I looked at his paintings, I looked at his artwork, and I chose to do Nude on a Sofa, Nude on a Couch, which was done in 1920, 1923 by Henri Matisse, who was a post-impressionist artist after the Impressionist era with Claude Monet and Vincent van Gogh. And unfortunately, guys, I have to do, it was a short period of time, but I wish I could go to the museum, but I'll do that next time when I have it, when my summer months come. And also, I took at the thumbnails of his untitled drawing, which I like to do, 
just like I did in Amy, draw Amy Fagan's drawing class, which I did today. And I will talk to you later, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. All right, go. So Faith, what did you think? Do you did you know anything about Matisse before you came here? Um, I learned about Henry Matisse when I was in elementary school, which they taught us about art, not just math and English. I never, I've never, I've, I'm going to learn about Henry Matisse when I in the when I when I get to the 20th century for the last semester when I learn about him. All right, I think this is best if you do a selfie. Um, I've learned about Henry Matisse today because he was the best artist of the 20th century. He's a French artist since Claude Monet and Jacques-Louis David. And I really, I like the part where I did nude on, on a, I recently did the nude on, nude on a sofa, which I just chose to do for my museum paper rather than the harem girls because they were not, they were not my subject and I don't, and I like Western culture and Chinese culture better. And I'll see, and I'll, and well. Well, I have a question for you, Faye. Yes. So what did you do today? Um, I did. So today what? Today I went to the um, Norton Simon Museum to do my, pay, to, to do my research for my museum report. I chose to do nude on a sofa, which was painted on, painted. Tell me about this report. What is it for? Um, my museum report is for my art, art, art 100B class, which is an art survey class where we had to do Renaissance and Contemporary. And I have to choose an art piece. Be, on, on on this period, and I will, and also I would, and what I'll. What did you learn in this class? What I've learned in this class is that I want to be, I want to discover my art lineage through the Renaissance and Jacques Louis David, which was part of my art lineage that Mark Westermo taught me before he died. Now, what is your art lineage? What does that mean? My art lineage is sort of like my family tree of artists, which are my are are more like my ancestors. From your from your art education, where what? Art education. Right, and your art education started with? Started with uh, Jacques-Louis David, Angre. Oh, with, with Mark Westermo. With Mark Westermo. And he said the lineage that his style, style of teaching was? The, his um, was Jacques-Louis David, which was part of Mark Westermo's art lineage, which I carry on his legacy today. And I will see you soon right now. Bye-bye.